Hi, welcome to a brief Perkinomer video on maintaining your high performance Pinnacle AA system. I'm Aaron Heineman, and in this video I will demonstrate how easy it is to change the graphite tube in your Pinnacle AA THGA instrument. The graphite tube is the heart of the graphite furnace and it plays a vital role in the overall stability of an analysis. In order to ensure stable analytical conditions from one atomization cycle to the next and from graphite tube to graphite tube, all graphite parts, contacts, tubes, and platforms are subject to strict quality control. At Perkin Elmer we have two types of furnace systems. There is the HGA or heated graphite atomizer and the THJ, or transversely heated graphite atomizer. For each system, there is a different tube type. They are available with and without end caps. Now, how often you change these tubes will depend on your usage and sample type. You may notice a decline in the performance indicated by changes in your atomization profiles or failing quality control checks. At this point, you should consider changing your graphite tube. Also, if you have any significant method changes, such as switching elements, matrix changes, or concentration levels, you should change your tubes. Before you change the graphite tube, put on powder-free gloves to avoid contaminating the tube. Also, allow the instrument to cool completely. Graphite furnace can generate very high temperatures, so it is important to ensure the furnace is cool before removing the graphite tube. The temperature can be verified in the software in the furnace control window. Once the furnace is cool, unlatch the auto sampler and swivel it out of the way. First go to the instrument tab, then atomizer group, and click on the furnace control. The furnace control window will appear. In the furnace control window, click on the open close button. Next, swing the support lever to the side and tilt the front contact housing downward. Graphite tube is now visible in the rear contact. Use the insertion removal tool provided to remove the graphite tube. To prevent contamination, make sure you do not touch the tube with your bare fingers. Now that the original tube is removed, you can now insert a new graphite tube. When you insert the graphite tube, make sure that the sample injection hole is on the uppermost side and the side of the tube to which the platform is attached faces to the back of the furnace. The platform is then higher toward the rear. When you're sure the graphite tube is positioned correctly, use the insertion removal tool to insert the graphite tube into the rear contact. Carefully tilt the front contact housing up into the closed position and swing the support level underneath the front contact housing. Activate the pressure that holds the furnace closed by going to the furnace control window and selecting open close. Carefully swivel the furnace auto sampler back into place and secure it with the large securing knobs. If you are installing a new graphite tube, you will need to condition the graphite tube. If you are reusing a previously conditioned graphite tube, heat that manually at 2500 degrees Celsius for 5 seconds to remove surface contamination. Your furnace tube has now been replaced and you are ready to start your analysis. Your instrument manual and these how-to videos are great resources to help get you familiar with your AA instrument. For more in-depth information on how to properly maintain and use your Pinnacle AA system, sign up for one of our training courses or contact your Perkin Elmer representative for additional options.